Rise, my faithful viewers, to Final Fantasy VI with your boy Danny. Last time, what did we do last time? Last time on Final Fantasy VI, we entered the Phoenix Cave, one of the most challenging dungeons in Final Fantasy VI. Now, to take on this cave, we used all eight of our current party members, and using friendship and teamwork, we conquered many puzzles, traps, and very powerful monsters. As we made our way through this volcano, we saw that many of the treasure chests were already empty. But near the end of the cave, we also fought one of the eight legendary dragons, the Red Dragon. And now there are only six dragons left in the world of ruin. Now, at the very end of the cave, we found the one and only Locke, the greatest treasure hunter on earth. Now, Locke has found the fabled treasure that he has been looking for. And it was in the shape of a magicite, the Phoenix Magicite, said to revive people from the dead. Now, this magicite was cracked, and Locke was afraid that Phoenix's power would not work. But we took Locke to Kolingan, where his beloved Rachel rested. And Locke attempted to use the Phoenix Magicite. The Phoenix Magicite shattered, and all hope was lost until Rachel opened her eyes and saw Locke one last time. Phoenix gave a little time left to Rachel to say what she needed to say, telling Locke that she always loved him and still does love him. She told him that he needs to learn to respect himself again, to move on, and that she never blamed him one second since the events occurred. Now, she left the power of Phoenix to Locke, and Locke was no longer guilty. He was free, free from this curse that has bound him to his past. And he is now ready to take on Kefka with his friends once again. So, that is where we are now. And we have the OG squad, or more like the Crescent Island squad, when they went after talking with the Empire. So, what do we do now? We got Locke, and the best thing to do after you get Locke is to head to Narsh. And you're going to see why, but Narsh is right here. Anyways, hope your days are going fantastic, by the way. You're looking quite beautiful. So here we are at Narsh. Let's see what's going on inside, shall we? Aw, oh, man. No cool Narsh theme? No, it's actually the Dark World theme. Hmm, that's sad. Oh, also, uh, we did get a bunch of stuff. Let's show off the equipment. The Valiant Knife is, it might be Locke's best weapon. <laughs> we got it after that, and the Wing Edge, I lied. It's not a shuriken that can be thrown. It's actually just one of the boomerang weapons. Um, but the Valiant Knife, it has some very, it's very powerful. Look at, look at Locke's battle power. 371. Never mind. Shadow is beating him. <laughs> I thought that was a lot. Anywho, um, but the Valiant Knife has a special property in that uh, if Locke, the lower HP Locke has, the more powerful the Valiant Knife is. So we're not going to be healing Locke until we really need to because you're going to see how powerful he really gets. But uh, we also got the Phoenix Magicite, which I won't be using now. Not yet. But of course, recovers battle status, so it revives you from KO status. But it teaches some crazy stuff. Life 2? Life 3? Like, protects from wound. You're immune for a little bit. Cure 3 and Fire 3, which is like the really big deal. But I need Terra. I'm going to put on Terra, but I want Terra to learn X-Zone. Uh, but which won't take long since it's times 5. So it won't take long. So after she learns X-Zone, I'm just going to put on Phoenix. And uh, other than that, everyone's like the same. But here we are. In our home turf, Narsh. Ah, the classroom. It's... Oh, wow! We have survivors. Let's get a nice heal on. Okay. I I didn't think... Uh, So the tutorial house... Yeah, the tutorial house stays. I didn't know that. Spooky Simon's here. That's funny. I didn't know that. Okay. So tutorial house is still standing strong. 
Just in case you forget how to play the game. Let's check out the town. Huh? Pickpocket? Eh? What are you doing here? Doesn't matter really. Nothing left anyway. There's only one Moogle still around. And only a treasure hunter could pick that lock. Is that... Huh? Was that that guy we fought before? What was his name? Lone Wolf the Pickpocket? Yes, that was his name. He tried to threaten Mog's life before. He said one Moogle's here though. And only a treasure hunter can pick these locks. Well, guess what? We have a treasure hunter now. And that is why you want Test Rider. What the freak? What are you testing? You testing your new ride? Or well, oopsie. Uh, I got more shurikens and skeins for Shadow, by the way. We're going to need them. So there's the Wing Edge. And that's the Valiant Knife. It's already powerful. Like, it already just did 1600. But the more damage lock takes, it gets way past 1600. 16,000, sorry. Holy, I mean, no, that is 1600. Don't correct your, don't freaking correct your mistake. You, uh, whatever, dude. I just confused myself. Let's check out the end. <laughs> don't wink at Shadow. Why? Why did you wink at Shadow? Now I want to switch out their freaking thing so he winks at Terra whenever he does it. So all he did was, um, do the, uh, he unlocked the door so we can check out the end. Whatever, we're just going to... Say he winked at Terra and not Shadow, because that's, <laughs> that's a little weird. Shadow ain't down. Shadow's gonna like, I'll cut your throat, Lock. Wink at me one more time. Doesn't look like anything's in the end. Hmm, not even a secret item? Not even any secrets? No, there's nothing in the end. Alright. Let's have a look around. Let's check out uh, Arvis's house. And these are all new enemies here. Red Wolf. Ooh, they look really cool. They're like phantoms of the wolves before. That nice 1500 damn lock. It's good to have lock back. It's great to have shadow as always. Terra's looking fantastic at the OG squad. Here we go. But yeah, this is this is Narsh now. It's dead. No, not many people. You, the uh, tutorial house doesn't really count. Those people don't really count. They're not real. All right, let's just let's let's be honest. They're not real. All right. God. All right, just another one of those test riders. But uh. We're leaving it to the professional lock here to lock, open up all the locked doors. So Alexa was in that clock before. How are these fires still going after all of these years? Hmm. Doesn't look like, yeah. That, as I said before, Bannon and Arvis are dead. They uh, died when the Empire betrayed us. Let's check out the treasure house. Nastadon, we got a new enemy. Oh, it's just an upgraded mammoth. We got upgraded mammoths out here. Like mammoths? Let's use a skein for the fans. Where's the skeins? Where are my skeins at? Fire skein? Fire skein. He'll take on that guy and she will take on anyone else who dares fight. Nice damage. Wing Edge is super good. Oh. See, now that he has some damage on him, he has like 2,000 health. He's now at 1,500. He did 2,000 damage. It's crazy. So we're not healing lock for a while. These enemies, by the way, they're not, they're new, but they are not that powerful, as you see. <laughs> you like that, Tara? Leave it to the professional. Leave the locked doors to be unlocked by lock. Empty! God freaking... <sighs> it looks like that pickpocket got the last treasure here, huh? Nothing left in here? Nope. Alright. So that was another pointless area to check out get out of my way losers I have a mission and you uh, it's really cool with it, this part because you can come to Narsh like you can come here and but all these doors would say locked and it's really cool because you come here with lock and he it's like job realism like it's really immersive in the fact that he he's able to unlock these doors I would think shadow would be able to but uh, Locke's better at it. He's used to unlocking those chests that are uh, cast away. We got these freaking Nastodons. They're nasty. They have nasty. Mm, oh my damage. Oh, Interceptor. Oh, I wanted some Interceptor attacks. Get out of my way. Take this damage real quick. I have a pile of damage. I'm handing it to you. You grabbed it. You're dead. Moving right along. In the cool, cool Narsh. It's kind of chilly out here. All right, nothing in here. Man, a lot of these places are just empty. 
But with this Valiant Knife, also, you don't need the Atlas Arm that on Locke, really. Locke is out here being a powerhouse. Uh, like, un unlike before, in the World of Balance, like, Locke, you had to use Atlas Armlets and things like that to make him pretty powerful. But he's just out here killing it now. Come on. Get out of my way, Poochies. Whoops. Oh, no. She got it. She got it. Good Terra. But, like, check out this damage. He's only at 1,000. 2,700 damage. The Valiant Knife is nuts. Did I learn X-Zone? I wasn't paying attention. As usual. What do we got? Nope, she's still out here learning it. Oh, no. It's the right time spot. Um, I think we can go in this house. Yes. <laughs> you like that? Alright. This house was pointless before, but... I think now... What's this? <laughs> Take this. Cursed shield. If we could break its curse, imagine its defensive power. So, there is a man still alive, but he's sick. So he's not doing too well. Maybe because he was holding on to this cursed shield. Now, what he says is true. The cursed shield... Uh, where is it? We could give him that. Oh, ooh. Oh! Oh wait, I have the Aegis. Give that to her. What am I doing with my life? Alright, cool. But, um, Curse Shield. There is a thing with it. It can become the ultimate. But, you have to go through 250 battles with that shield. And it becomes the best shield in the game. Um, screw that. <laughs> you can do that if you like. I'm not doing it. Let's check out the relic house. But yeah, it's a little thing. Uh, if you want the best shield in the game, just go out and grind. If you grind, just grind with that shield and you're set. Nothing in here. Yeah. Let's check out the weapon house. This one you want to go into. <laughs> Alright, hello? Anyone in here? Hmm. What about this little secret I taught you guys before? <gasps> Hello, good sir. You jacking it? I've been waiting for you. I wanted to give you this. What is it? A magicite? I ran a weapon shop for 70 years. This stone gives off an eerie aura. 70 years? How old are you, dude? Jeez, and you're still alive. If I melted it and forged a sword, it'd be powerful. Well, make this stone into a sword? Now, this is a very tough decision. Very tough. Um, either way, it's really good. A lot of people like doing make it to a sword because the sword is <laughs> it's one of the best in the game. And if you take this sword and use it at the Coliseum, you get an even better sword, <laughs> which is insane. But um, I'm not really down with the uh, Coliseum. And there's a very... Uh, it gets... So we're not going to do the sword, alright? We're just taking the Magicite as it is. Because I like showing off the espers. So we're taking the stone. Um, if you guys disagree with this, I don't care. Alright? I'm playing. I like showing off the espers. And it gives one of my favorite spells in the entire game. So, screw you. Right. I'll stay here. This is my home. <laughs> alright. You do that. And there's this little secret bed I showed you before. But now I'm going to show you off this uh, magicite he gave us. Uh, it is the Ragnarok uh, Esper. It teaches Ultima. And the Ra Ragnarok turns enemy into an item. That's not the best part. It's the Ultima. <laughs> uh, Ultima is the ultimate spell. And you learn it at a very very slow rate but one day I will have this I'll have this at the final dungeon and I'm just going to be spamming it everywhere because it's fantastic but uh yeah that's Ragnarok so now we have that getting espers like crazy out here all right so I think we only have one more place to check out and it's the elder's house elder's house elder no the elder's gone elixir was in that clock before just a reminder. Nothing's here. Alright. 
So now that that's done, what you want to do is go back to that side cave that we kept using in earlier in the game that Locke showed Terra and Terra later showed Edgar and Bannon. So we're going to go back to that cave after this fight. I really, really, really like you. Oh, I really, really do. Look at you looking at me. You know what? I'll try them back. I, uh, I think I come came up with the name for this episode. Lock unlocks locks. <laughs> yeah, I'm naming it that. <laughs> Lock unlocks locks. It's true. I've unlocked everything. I've even unlocked the key to your heart. So now we have some new enemies. Same names, but they're the new editions of the Mag Rotors. Back at the, uh... Oh, what was that? The Magitech factory when we were trying to escape. We have yellow ones and brown ones. Looking like little dookies. If you ask me. Well, let's see how Locke does against these guys. Fantastic! <laughs> Oh, Shadow, you're my boy. Getting that insta-death in there for the fans. All right, so now we're in the little side cave once again for the third time. Let's check it out. Got the flame still, looking super cool. Ooh. Man, this Dark World theme, it really puts the mood down, doesn't it? It's not that nice, cool, jazzy, freaking fluty theme. Oh, I love the Narsh theme. I miss it. I really love the look of the Narsh Caves. Here we have some new enemies. Psychot and Wizard. Uh, we want to get to Shadow and use uh, the Thunder schemes. Um, thunder, because they are weak to Bolt. Right here, the Bolt Edge. We want to use this. The Aegis Shield looks so cool. We want to use this. Because all of these monsters are able, will die in one hit. Because they're weak to it. Negative. What the freak? It didn't work! Whatever, we got to see Bold Edge. Mind shock! Uh, whoa! That was a new one. Jesus, these guys are going nuts. So Locke is muted. He can, no he can no longer talk and he can't move. That sucked. He can't even blink. He just looks at you with dead eyes. Anywho, we're gonna save him. Nice block, Terra. That Aegis shield is out of this world. General Leo. We're doing this for General Leo now. I just noticed, even though uh, Locke was immobilized, he has to get the fanfare dance on. You can't stop that, Scythot. <laughs> Scythots. We got some Scythots. Um, here we can go. We're going to use the water edge. Where is it? Oh, a straight was a katana? Holy crap! That's for freaking Cyan, our boy. All right, good to know. We got the straight uh, last episode? Yes, we did. Oh, nice. Just enough damn. Oh, you keep hurting Locke. You keep hurting Locke. That's going to be your final mistake. Let's see how much damage he does. Woo! Oh! Locke. <laughs> Ooh. Locke's a new man. Ever since... Oh, we got Exxon. Alright, I can put on uh, Phoenix. Uh, ever since he got rid of that guilt of... Freaking, uh... Whoops. Of Rachel. He's ready for Sellers and the world. Alright, we got this Phoenix on. Get some Fire 3. We're going to need Fire 3. Soon enough. Next episode, even. Alright, this time we don't have to do that cool little maze like before. Ha! Alright, can I have a turn? Holy Terra! Terra's blocking everything! I'm putting that in. That was amazing. Get out of my face. That was freaking cool. We're back. But, uh, because I'm showing that. That was super cool. Alright. That Aegis shield, dude. We need more Aegis shields. I need to find a way to find those. Um. Yes, down here. Okay. I was like, wait, where are we? Yeah. Alright, so as you see, it looks like I'm heading towards the Moogle cave. But they said there was only one Moogle. Could it be? It might. I'm not sure. <laughs> you act like I've played this game before. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. 
All right, so let's get rid of these guys again. Let's show off haste too. No, let's show off slow too. Slow two, it hits everyone. Unlike slow, which just did one. Slow two does everyone. Let's check it out. Ooh, I'm down. I am down. Doomstep. Ah! <laughs> Terra! Terra's amazing. Everyone's finding their full potential, and it's fantastic. Alright, they're not Gohan out here. They're 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 keeping their potential. Are you stopping me, bro? He stopped me. But stopping does not stop the fanfare dance. <laughs> you just can't stop it. Alrighty. So we're making our way back to the Moogle Cave. We'll show off Haste 2 soon. Right now. We're showing off Haste 2. You ready for Haste 2? Psycho and Red Wolves. Ha! You don't like to stop me. Alright, Haste 2, Haste 2, Haste 2. Right there. Haste 2, but since it's a uh, pincer attack, it's only going to do this side. Here we go. I love that. Now we're moving faster. Nice 2,000 damage. Oh, baby. Oh. Come on. Inter Interceptor's just been taking damage. He hasn't been attacking much. I still love him. Oh, I always love him. I love dogs. Interceptor is one of the top dogs in video games. There's others. You know, like D-Dog. Red 13. If you count Red 13 as a dog. Freaking Sif from Dark Souls. <gasps> is it? Is it? Mog? Koopa Poo! You're alive! I thought you were all feeding the worms, Koopa! Koopa! <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> hey! I have an idea! Say, we could use some Sasquatch muscle! Besides, he'd be helpless here without me! He's somewhere in the mines! Once we find him, I'll order him to join us! Now I join your party! Sasquatch Muscle, and we got Mog in the party! <laughs> Shadow likes Mog, so I'm keeping him next to him. But we have to set up Mog, but um... Yeah, Mog... Th By the way... Uh... Oh, we, we got this Emp Halberd, I don't even remember where. But we got it after a certain battle. But um... Gold Lance. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Thunder Shield. Ooh, I'm gonna show off... I know exactly what I'm going to show off with Mog since he uses spears. I'm going to show off the dragon horn and jump thing. Okay. Uh, anyways, as I was saying before, um, so if I hadn't found Mog before, like earlier on in the world of balance, most people find him here. I always used to find him here when I played this game in the past. I always found him here instead of doing that little uh, side quest to find him earlier. So he's usually here, and he says uh, what he would say when we first found it. He would say that old Psycho Rama told me about you. But you get a little unique dialogue when you've already met him. He's like, oh, you're alive. But he always tells you about a Sasquatch. Um, is that a secret character? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. I might even give him Palador just for the hype. Hmm. Because he dances. Remember, this is the Slam Dancing Moogle, dude. He... He's pretty cool. Huh. Magic power? Yeah, we'll just put on Zone Seeker for now. Still need to show off. Um, we can get the final dance in the World of Ruin now too. So we'll worry about that later though. And Relics. So Relics, I'm going to show this off. Which is going to be super cool. We're all going to get really hype. Uh, you want Dragoon Boots and the Dragon Horn. Makes Jump Continuous. So it makes you the ultimate Dragoon Knight, basically. All right, and with that, we are set. Wait, hold on. What did I have on him? Gollum? Is that Gollum on him? He's already leveled up, too. Hey, baby, baby girl. Hey, how are you? I think you're super duper duper cute. Yeah, I really, really, really do. Now we got Mog back. So, uh, we'll have Locke still do the party for now. So now, uh, we have to get the heck out of here. Let's go this way. Sadly, the freaking theme just ended when I got out of the menu. Oh, uh, Mog's theme? Last time we'll hear it. Okay. Totally forgot something very important in here. Um, right where Mog was standing, 
is the Moogle Charm Relic. Totally, when I started just talking, I, my mind got totally sidetracked. So, the Moogle, the Moogle uh, Charm is actually super OP. No random enemy encounters. It makes us invulnerable to enemy encounters. It's crazy. Speedrunners get Mog at this part just for the Moogle Charm. Because I think he's the only one who can wear it. Yeah? Yeah. He's the only one who can wear it. So they get Mog because if he's in your party and has the Moogle Charm, you straight up get no fights. No random encounters ever. As long as Mog has the Moogle Charm in your party. Also, another thing I wanted to mention, but my mind got sidetracked, was that in the lore, Mog is the last surviving Moogle. It's not a coincidence that there's no other Moogles. In the lore, he is the final Moogle. And it's just really sad. He's the last of his kind in the lore. I, I don't really want to say that. But it's true, he is the last one. But some, some Moogles have to be unaccounted for. Some have to be just missing. You know, not, it's just sad. He's the last surviving Moogle after the whole World of Ruin happened. But anyways, back to the show. Now, we're just gonna go back around uh, to Arvis's house. But let's check out this freaking jump. Get out of my way. Uh, do that, and just have her weaken everyone, but we're gonna have him jump. Ready? Ha! Jump, as you see, I did jump last, but jump takes priority, which is, it's kind of unique. Uh, jump takes priority over, like, espers and things like that. Espers take the longest to cast, even. And magic, of course, too. So she's gonna do this. Hopefully it doesn't... Here, uh, hold on. I want him to do it. Great! Ha! Nice! Now he can do it up to three times, I believe. But she just became a zombie, so that's not cool. So we have to cure that. But uh, that's how it looks. It does a lot of... It did pretty good damage, didn't it? I might keep that on him, honestly. It's actually a good plan. Um, what was I doing? Revivify? Yeah. But right now we have to heal the beauty. But um, yeah, he, uh, he freaking kills it out here. I'm going to keep that on him. We should heal. We'll just use potions. The obsolete potions. There we go. We'll keep the jump on him. Because he can do it up to three times. The, that continuous jump thing. He'll just go up, go up, go up. It's really cool. Let's check it out again. Keep Locke at weak health. Because you want to check out his dam? I'll let you check out his dam. 3,000. Here we go. He's jumping. Woo! She got a crit. Oh my, the triple, the triple block from Terra. She is amazing. She's, the, oh my goodness, she might be the MVP. She's amazing. Take it. Take it. <laughs> it's cool. It is a thousand. That's not too bad. I think it's doing a lot more than he would do normally, so we'll keep that on him. And it keeps him safe. All right, making our way back to Arvis's house. Ah, get down. All right, there we go. So here, so to get to the Sasquatch, we're not going to find him this episode, but we're going to head towards his direction. He's back up on the snowy fields. Now the snowy fields are where the decisive battle took place. So pretty much I might just meet you there. Oh, we got another fight with these mag rotors. Might as well show them off. Let's have a dance! Let's have a dance! Which dance do we want to do? Um... I'm feeling some wind song. Because, you know why I'm feeling wind song? God! 
These little poopies. Look at these little dookie ones. They're all like, oh, look at me, I'm a little duke. I'm a little dookie. But, um, I want a wind song because we no longer get to see the green areas in the game. Like, the grassy areas. Because we're in the dark world. So, actually, the next, the next battle, I'm going to show that off. And I might show me all fast forwarded going up this mountain too, just in, just to remind how to get there. But uh, ooh, that was a good one. Got through there without a fight. Can we do it again? Nope. But let's show off the wind song, just to look at the green world again, because Mog is just that powerful. Wind song, don't mess up this time, Mog. Wind slash. Ah, yes, wind slash. Oh, good. Look at this. The world, the world of balance used to be such a beautiful place. With the mountains in the distance, the clouds, the forest to the right, like, the little lake right here. Oh, such good time. Locke is doing damage since he's freaking less health. That's crazy. But that's the nice little green area. Hope you enjoyed it. just learned that the uh, wind edge, it does instant death as well. So we're just instant deathing fools. Anywho, we're out here. This is the, where the decisive battle took place. Protecting the Esper Tritok. Will Tritok be there? I'm not too sure. Let's just go through this battle. There should be a safe point up ahead where I will be ending the episode. These guys look kind of cool in the snowy fields. I forgot the snowy fields had its own little uh, thingy thingamajig. A little background. Mog doesn't care. Mog's out here jumping. He's jumping on fools. No, Terra. Supposed to attack this one down here. Mind shock. Oh! Wild Fang. He's flying his. <laughs> freaking. Freaking Interceptor was flying. Oh! He hit two! He killed one and then went to kill the other one. That was. Master New Dance! There it is! That's the final dance! Wait a second, I didn't even know that was the final dance. Snowman Jazz! Holy crap! That's awesome! I didn't know that! I thought it was the um, Dark World, like the Dead World uh, background that was the last one. What's that, you ask? That's a dragon! Oh my god! Okay, we'll fight that next episode, though. But, um, after show off Snowman Jazz, let's take a little nap. Take a little nap. I think we deserve a nap. Uh, will Tritox still be up here? How hard will that blue dragon be? How cool is Snowman Jazz gonna be? Find out next time on Final Fantasy VI.